Wabba wabba. That was whack. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm trying to come up with a, a new intro or name for my uh, my vlog. Don't worry, I'm not filming you. I'm talking to my wife and my son. Uh, they're in there doing their thing, right? So, um, normally I only film when I have a comedy show to do and I show you guys what goes on around when I'm preparing for it, but tonight is a special night. It's something I don't like to really talk about too much only because I feel like I'm bragging, but it's not bragging because it's true. Uh, if you know me, or even if you don't know me, I've been telling y'all I'm an actor, and uh, I, uh, I am an actor on a TV show called Power. It comes on the Stars Network. If you've never heard of it, that means you don't have premium cable. Um, but it's all over the internet, so I'm sure you could uh, probably get it on demand um, or download the app. I think it's like eight bucks or something like that through Stars, and you can watch it. We're up to season four now. We just finished. We're finishing filming it uh, this week, and tonight is the wrap party for said series power which I am on, and that right there was bragging. But I am on it, and tonight's the night. Last year, my wife couldn't go with me because she was pregnant with my wonderful son. So this year, she is not pregnant. Yay! And she can go and partake in some of the, the liquor, the reverie, and the spirits that are going to be presented at this event. It's going to be at a... Um, Lucky Strike Bowling Alley. If any of you watching this are thinking of coming, last year security was tight as hell, so um, it's probably going to be tight again this year, so don't even think about it. There's a list. Your name's not on it. you not getting in. Um, but this season on Power was really fun. I can't put out any spoilers. I want y'all to watch it. Uh, season 4 is probably going to be coming out in July, but this season was so much fun to do. I was given a lot more opportunity by Courtney Kemp Agbo and the show's writers, who I really appreciate, for giving me the opportunity to play a character named Black Grimace. And I really feel like I, I kind of made Black Grimace my own this season because I was given more opportunity, so I was able to show more, uh, more of his personality. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because I have a loose lips, and as they say, loose lips sink ships. So. All I will say is this season is one of the most shocking in this in the history of power. There's a lot of things that happen that maybe some people will really like and then a lot of people will not like. But you are going to watch. Um, so anyway, needless to say, the wrap party tonight and the wife and I are going to go. We're going to have a ton of fun. I'm really excited because it's the first time she gets to go with me and meet some of my coworkers and maybe some of the other stars of the show next to me. Um, the funny thing is, I don't remember everyone's name, so I told her what she has to do is when we walk up to somebody and I just say, hi, this is my wife, she's, and she'll have to reach for and say, hi, I'm Crystal. And then the other person will say their name. Because when you're on a lot of these movie sets, you meet a lot of different, uh, the TV sets, excuse me, you meet a lot of different people. What did he do? Oh, he ain't doing nothing. You meet a lot of different people and you run across a lot of names. Now, unless I saw you every day when I was working... I cannot remember your name all the time, so sometimes I just say what's up to people, but luckily she'll be there and she'll be able to get people's names and then I'll say hi to people and it won't feel awkward. So that's the plan for tonight. I don't know how much filming I'm actually going to be able to do inside um, the venue. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to bust out the camera while I'm talking to someone, but maybe while me and Crystal are just sitting there chilling, I'll bust it out and I'll take some short video of us kind of hanging out. If I have a chance and let you guys kind of see what we're dealing with and I'll let you know take a look around the venue see everybody partying but I'm not gonna film too much because I don't want to invade people's privacy so anyway I gotta go I gotta go get this lack of a hairline see that I refuse to do the spray on here I won't do it this hairline is gone on a permanent retirement vacation it is gone so I'm just gonna get baldies from now on Unless I do what my Uncle Novi did, uh, Sullivan Walker. And he see this part right here. He would just shave that off and it would just be this long, weird thing. It looks like a, a party hat, a chin strap around my head. Hairline's going. So I'm going to go at the barber. Go see my barber, my West Indian barber. I have two barbers I use. The West Indian one. I know about the time. I'm, I'm almost done here. Let me finish my thought. That's why it's be taking longer. His wife keep interrupting me. We better quite far put you on camera over here wearing no clothes. 
I'm gonna turn it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna go see my Jamaican barber. I got two barbers. You gotta have two. You gotta have the main one and the backup. So my Jamaican barber, he hooks me up. And uh, I've been going to him for a while. And my boy Mike, the barber. And he's the barber on the set of Power. He's got his own shop. So when I can't get my Jamaican guy hooked me up or it's too many people, I go see Mike. And Mike hooks me up. So I'm going to go get this cleaned up. Cleaned up so I can look right for the party. Then me and the wife are going to go shopping for some clothes and accessories to wear tonight so we can look fly. We're dropping the kid off. He's staying by the in-laws all night tonight. He's staying overnight so me and the wife can party like it's $20.99. Get a little turned up. You know what I mean? And get an Uber. It's going to be one of those nights. All right, so I'm going to see y'all when I get back with a fresh cut. And we're going to go shopping. Peace. Oh, man. Check it out. Looking fresh. Mm, mm, mm. Looking clean. This is the after effect of going to see your barber. And getting your self-esteem back. Look at that. <clears throat> Idris couldn't touch me right now even if he wanted to. I don't care, Idris. I'm sexier than you are. So this is the look I'm going with as far as my hair for the wrap party for Power tonight. I already got this nice leather jacket uh, from Sean John that my wife bought me. I'm going to wear that. I have a sweatshirt from my homies at Grown Fresh NYC. Go follow them on Instagram at Grown Fresh. NYC. They hooked me up with a nice um, red sweatshirt. It's called the Goat. I have some nice uh, fitted jeans. Not skinny jeans, but fitted jeans from the 5'4 Club that I'm wearing. And I'm, I'm going to go find a pair of sneakers to go with that um, right now after we drop the baby. Who's down there in his business. After we drop him off at my mother-in-law house. I'm going to find a pair of sneakers, and I'm going to put the outfit together and let y'all see it. And then we're going to call the Uber up. I'm going to let y'all see my wife's outfit if she lets me. And then we headed to turn up at the rapping party. Rapping? The rap party, not the rapping party. There's going to be rappers there, but the rap party. Probably sponsored by Effin Vodka, which is not that bad. By the way, Effin is actually pretty good vodka. I'm not saying that because one well, of my bosses runs the show that I'm on. Effin Vodka is actually pretty good. Not too fancy, tastes great, goes down easy. It's a working man's liquor, you know. You want to see my wife's new hairstyle? Can I show him? Mm -hmm. No, she don't want me to show you. She's no interest. All right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna handle, take care of this business. Drop the baby off, and when you see me again, it's gonna be time to pull out the outfits. Actually, no, it's gonna be time to look for the sneakers that go with the outfit. All right. I'll see y'all soon. I'm over here enjoying the current roll. West Indians know about it. It is a little awkward. Hey, what's going on? So we in at Foot Locker right now. We're trying to find shoes to go with my outfit. I think I might have found a contender. We have that the Air Hirachi by Nike. That color kind of matches the sweatshirt I have, and it's not very red either. I don't know. It's more closer to this one, though. The color's more closer to that, kind of. Yeah, it's more of a red or burgundy. Yeah. Alright, so that one's not gonna work. Um, I don't know. It's hard to find something. A lot of options here. Look, look, look. Um, you see, so I'm trying to get something stylish, so, like this, but just a different color. Like if I had, you know what I mean? Something like that. I can rock with something like that. But uh, this isn't going to work. So. I might be with this, but they probably don't have my size. And it also says it's $100. I'm trying to keep the budget low. Nice. The lumberjack right on the inside. Alright, we're gonna have to keep looking because I don't see what they're gonna like. And if I don't find it, I might have to settle on something, you know? But they have to be really cheap. <laughs> Alright. Back to square one. 
So we're still on the run for looking for matching shoes. Are we checking these? If these be having some nice stuff, if these be having some nice stuff, but to find something that. Check first. Or did Jimmy Jazz is closer. So. Right? So this is the this is probably the longest I've ever spent in a mall looking for uh, sneakers to match outfit that I'm trying to wear. Cause I'm not a I'm an outfit type of guy. I just kind of wear what feels comfortable. And these sneaker stores tend to be really expensive, overpriced. But you gotta come to the see the color sweater he got on. That's the color sweater I got. So I need something that matches that. It's just not too red, you know. I feel like I know it when I see it too. A lot of tough choices in here. A lot of contenders. Ooh, this one. Oh, clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. Was it like this? Yeah. I don't know what that other one was. Alright, so I know I had said no all red, but you can't beat that price. $50? I bet you this is a size 13 too. Come on. If this is size 13, we're going home. I don't know where that's from. Uh, just, maybe just put it down there. This is a size 13, we're going home. Hold that for me. I bet you, because usually when it's, it's this inexpensive. It's not on the lift of it? No. Probably like the last size. Nope, not 13. I'm wearing 13. That's how you tell. Oh, that guy has the same hat I do. Um, let's see, what are we going here with this? I might just have to suck it up and get it all red, honey. Oh, wait. Got another contender here. It is bright, but the price point is right. And 10. Nine and a half. You know, sometimes they don't even have my size like 13. So I'm gonna have to ask you. So you see this? This will be perfect. Perfect. This would be perfect. I think they, this is 11 and a half, but I'm going to ask if they have some 13 75 dollars I'm okay with it. My wonderful wife is being a wonderful camera person. See like these? This would be dope, you know what I mean? They had like a colorway like that with the red to go with it. Or even this, this is cool. 80 bucks. Find somebody to help me and see if I can. Uh... Ooh, okay. Does that go with the red? It's a lot better. You wear that again. It's not a lot of red. Seventy bucks. It's a twelve, so they might have this at thirteen. Um, How long right. are you gonna be recording it? Are you recording the whole process? No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna keep recording. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna find the shoe. I'm gonna find the 13 and I'm gonna try it on. So I think I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for this Jordan. And I'm gonna go for this one. And hopefully they have that or one of these other ones. It's a little red knit that I can uh, get in my size. So we'll see the selection process. Or this one. This one is the other contender. All right, let me get back to you. All right, YouTube family, so we got two contenders. You know, I don't like to spend a lot of time walking around the mall uh, looking for sneakers. It's not my thing, right, honey? I'm not big on shopping. I find something, if I like it, I get it. If they got my size, it saves me time so we can get out of here and get home and get ready for the wrap party. Season four of Power. Oh, party time, give me the party dance. Yeah, party time. Once he comes back with the sneakers, I'm gonna show y'all what we're rocking with today. So we're back. We got the final two contenders right here. I wish there was a way we could do a live vote and help y'all could help me choose. Um, 
but this has got to go with the red sweatshirt and a black leather jacket. So I really feel like I'm leaning more towards this one. But I also definitely like this one because it's got a little texture. You see that? These are the first Jordans I ever bought in my entire life because I don't buy Jordans. I don't spend money like that because I'm a cheap skate. I don't believe in spending $100 on sneakers, but these are both under $80, so I'm okay with it. Um, I'll try these on. Clean socks for once. In fact, I'm actually wearing socks. <clears throat> You know why they only give you one side, right? So you can't take it. Damn right. You know nobody. It's probably happened before where somebody done right, walked, walked off with it. Walked off with it. Ran off. I know some of y'all seen that um, episode of Power where um, Kanan was on there with uh, with Tariq and he got himself a pair of Jordans by just simply calling the store and he was trying it on. The associate walks away and he puts his old sneakers in the box and puts the Jordans on and walks out. Doesn't work like that. That's TV. You can't do that in real life. They only gives me one side of the sneaker. Okay. What do you think, honey? That looks cool. Is it tight? Nah, not really. Once again, you still have the laces. Just think of it now with a um, leather jacket and like a red, red sweatshirt. I'm trying to imagine it in my head. You got black jeans, right? Well, I was going to wear the dark blue ones. Dark blue. I'll show sure you when I get home based on which sneaker I pick. Then we got these. I really like these. Because it's got the black in it. Not much. Just a little bit. Yeah, these are all black with the red on the bottom. So they would still go with the outfit. Let's try them on. He's got a little more funk to it, you know? Not too crazy, just a little bit. Okay. Got to loosen up the laces. Too many laces on is this entertaining? Is this entertaining to you guys? Watch me try shoes on my ashy hands. My ashy bottom. Ashy so hands. We have both Ashy hands. Get this? I don't think I, I don't think you can see it. The detail on the camera. Yeah, they can. Maybe not on the screen, but when I uploaded you, uh, I have it set to 1080. Yeah, I see that. Ashy, ashy well, then I hope so, so you can share. They look nice, actually. I don't like red, but yeah. But just imagine it with like dark blue jeans and the red hoodie, the red sweatshirt, and the leather jacket. It'll pop. I mean, if the blue jeans don't work, right? If the blue jeans that I have don't work, I have uh, some kind of white. Sorry, you don't want to be on too much. I have some like the kind of dark, not dark, but they're like a light black. So it might work with either one of these. The problem is just picking them. Well. Are you going to wear the red ones happily? Actually would. Can I get them? Can I get them? All right, well. You got black too, good. I do. If you want to go, if you want to really change it up. I do. Well, I don't know what decision I'm going to make, but we're going to make a decision when I come back. Let the drama build a little bit, see which one I pick. And we're back. So I got the winning pair of sneakers right here and this thing shaped like a backpack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal it outside, but I'm gonna put this on like a backpack right now. Cause it's your cool. hip and you're cool. like that. Yeah. Get it, bro, get it. I also brought you over here cause I wanna show you sneakers I wanna get for my son. They got, they got little baby ones. This might be too big for him cause he's a 4-5. This is 4C. Maybe something like this for your kids. I ain't spent no money on Jordan. Ooh, fifty dollars. Must be mad. You must be mad. Buddy. Under Armour, fifty dollars. Yeah. Maybe we just go to Buster Brown or Payless or something. You still got Buster Brown? Yeah, on Farmbush. Is it still open? 
<laughs> I'm asking you. You were asking I me. I just thought these were cool because look at these sneakers. These are like the little adult size version of Jordans. <laughs> yeah. And then they got these. Like your kids balling on the court, breaking ankles and doing crossovers with Jordans on. Oh, look at that. Mm. <sighs> anyway, so let's roll. And I'll show you the winner one as we're leaving. The music is good, so I'm dancing. Hit it. Alright guys, are you ready for the reveal? Which sneaker did I pick? Was I stylish? Did I go with the red and black ones? Or did I keep it simple and just go with all black ones with the red bottoms? Da -da -da -da. Also, are you getting the whole facing thing? Right. Yeah. I just also want to mark this occasion by saying this is the first pair of Jordans that I've ever bought in my entire life and my wife will... Am I lying? I'm not co-signing it. Have I ever bought a pair of Jordans? No. Ever? That's what I'm saying. I'm, oh, no, I'm not co-signing you actually paying money for them. Okay. But yes, it's for some yes, you actually. Michael Jordan, but what I'm I am. That's on the principle. Is when I'm asking her to answer the question, she answers another question. <laughs> what I'm asking you is to on principle. What I'm asking you is confirm, faceless woman. <laughs> is, is this the first pair of Jordans that It I've is ever the owned? first pair of Jordans that you I've have I've never owned. bought a pair of Jordans before. This is the first pair I bought. Only because they weren't $200. And now hell has frozen over. Yes, these were only uh, 80 something dollars after tax. So, the, the ones I went with... <laughs> Build suspense. Ta-da! Da -da -da. Now we'll wear that. The red ones, because this will go with... The outfit that I have planned, hopefully. I'll make it work even if it doesn't. I'll make it work. Because I think my wife convinced me that I need to switch up uh, my style. I, I'm too monochrome, too monochromatic in the color. So do something that makes it pop. And we're going to go have some fun tonight. You ready to drink? <clears throat> we can't drink too heavy because the baby's birthday party is tomorrow. We have not finished doing what we're supposed to be doing for We got a lot of party supplies to buy. Got some... Got some cakes and stuff. On a side note, side note, is there a guy that stands like that? There's no dude that stands like that waiting to play basketball and be like, yo, I got next, and stands like that on the court. Because if you ever ran into a guy like that, you'd never let him play with you. Real talk. I got next, the hell you do. <laughs> I'm not playing with you, bruh. What kind of game you trying to play? Anyway, so I got my pair of sneakers. I'm very happy, you know had to spend the money but i'm never going for another pair of sneakers again for another five years i hate shopping because i can never find my size and sneaker so these are going to have to last for the next five maybe ten years maybe till after the baby graduates college right so i'm gonna need a little more energy for you than that I'm not, i don't buy listen i'm not interested in sneakers so. yeah these are, these are last 18 years I'm gonna get me a pair like that, that glow in the dark on the bottom. Let me get a pair like that. Anyway. Alright, so now, um... See, this is the guy you want playing ball with you. Not like that other guy. This guy right here is the one you want playing ball. He's ready to play. He's got his shorts on. He's sitting like a man who knows how to dunk. That's who you want on your team. That's who you want. Anyway, so we got the gear. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna put the outfit together. Right? And we're gonna make sure it pops. Then we're gonna go drink. She, she acting like she don't wanna drink. She gonna drink. We got the Uber coming. So we ain't worried about it. Alright? So y'all, be good. I'm gonna see you in a minute.